Cars Tour is a new series that I'm going to be racing the late model stock in. It's a little bit different than the NASCAR format. It doesn't have the brand that NASCAR has, but it's new, it's fresh, and to be honest, who doesn't like something that's new and fresh? But we really like the schedule they were going to run. We liked so far how they handled things, and we said, you know what, we're going to go run with these guys and give them a shot. Hi, Roddy, fire up. fun watching Roddy's growth, uh, kind of where he started out to where he's at now. He's really catching on to what the car's doing and what he wants it to do and what he needs it to do. Roddy, enter the corner lower. Get to the bottom sooner than what you are. Sorry, I'm messing up on this guy. So far, the biggest transition I've seen is just the, the level of competition is much more intense. It's challenging. And it can get frustrating, but it's, I have an advantage because I think I'm surrounded by amazing people. You look good on the engine of four. You were nice and low in the straight. Copy that. With no experience, I knew how much of a learning curve that was ahead of him, but he always listens and takes everything uh, with stride. So that, that helps out a lot. As far as lap time wise, CO's and some of those 90s, I mean, that's pretty much right there with everybody. It's not tight, but I like it the way it is because I think it handles power really well, but I felt like the car is really solid. Well, come on in. Is that Kyle Busch? Yeah. That was a wreck that did that, right? Daytona, Daytona. 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 Daytona.
That's it, keep digging. Go low. Coming, keep coming. Good move. So that's gonna put you fifth. And they go, we kinda gotta go with them. We need to finish in the top four. Hang in there. I think I only needed to pass one more car or two more cars and I would've had it. I was really thinking, we're gonna qualify. I was like, this is gonna be awesome. Four laps to go this time. If nothing changes at the front of the field right now, that's how it's gonna be. You carry too much speed through the middle, making you late back to the throttle. You're going through too fast through the middle of three and four. Too high. One car kind of got up underneath me and kind of got me loose, and then three cars like got by me. I knew going into Kenley there were gonna be more cars than spots. But what I did not know is that I was gonna be one of the ones going home. Ingram will win the last chance race. Roddy Sterling, Brian Barnhill, and Wesley Hawkins will have to come back and give it a shot in three weeks' time. I'm so sorry, guys. Way to start the season. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Way to start the season, Roddy. Way to go. Way to just blow it. You've done a good job there, Roddy. Just, uh... I guess in the way of, uh, of raising the bar for 2015, I think Steve and I probably showed some frustration as well, because we know Roddy can do it. Uh, there at the beginning, I was 100% sure I was going to qualify. This tire management, I guess. This... My mind at that point, it sped up really fast, and a lot of thoughts were going through my head, and then it almost went blank, like I left my body. I can't believe this is happening. You know, this is where I'm supposed to make an impact or at least show that I can keep up. But that didn't happen that way. And that's kind of how racing is. No matter how great of a driver you are or what kind of equipment you have under you, sometimes things just happen. And it's really about how you deal with those situations that makes you better than the next guy.